Hello and welcome, and we are the Legal Zone. We are doing another car review for the Aston Martin this time. We did the Red Bull uh, yesterday, or today, whichever day it come out. I can't really remember. You didn't tell me you're doing it, by the way. I don't need to. I still have my hair. Yeah, don't worry about the hair. It's, it's long gone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <counting> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking Aston Martin today. Their car release come out today. What a car. I'm a big fan. This is one of the ones I was looking forward to. Quite excited to see. As well as last year. Because it's the first time seeing it. But this this is much better than what they brought out last year. But I'm disappointed. Totally, you're disappointed? Mm. Why? Do you know what? I was disappointed. And then I saw a different angle of it. And I saw like the slits in the body. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Slightly redeemed it. What what disappointed you about it? I don't know. Colour? It's not very grabbing green. Did, oh, did you want it to be a bit more darker? Yeah, and I didn't I didn't like the um black like, on the wing and stuff. Okay. It's like that little it makes the wing look smaller. I don't know. This has gotta be the first car out of the three car reveals where we've got a difference in opinion. I like I like it, but it's just not uh, and everyone's saying how good it is. Well, I, I've won. I, exactly. I'm saying I just, that. I don't really see. I think the Red Bull is still my number one. Really? Where you'd probably say different now. I would, yes, I would. This was one I was looking forward to, and I even watched the stream for it. And, yeah, I just feel like they've just got it right this time. Last year, I felt that the colour green wasn't right, the pink stripe didn't do it any justice whereas this year they've gone for a slightly lighter green which i think works still not a big fan of the lighter stripe going for. it looks very slick and again i feel like the shape of the car does it a lot of justice it works it works a lot better i see what you're saying but i don't like the lime green the lime green green does um Ruin it a little, little bit for me. Yeah, it's the lime green part, and it's just the black accent it's got on it, like the front wing. I just, it makes the wing look smaller than it, it is. Like the Red Bull one has Red Bull, like it's Red Bull, like Red Bull. Not, yeah. I don't know. It's, I think that sponsor. Do you know what? It's the sponsors that don't really do it justice. They, they don't have like poignant sponsors. That's true. Yeah, it's just the kind of the the white font. Just dotted around a bit. Yeah. But I always, the, the, I do. I'm, I'm, I like the car, as in I like the look of it. But it looks yeah. like all the other ones. But I, I'm starting to grow towards it. But I don't know. For me, it was just a bit of a. Oh. Oh really? Yeah. I think it's the green. It's the lime green part. Don't get me wrong. When I first saw it, the, the lime green green, I, I wasn't a fan of. But it's better than what they did last year with the pink. Not sure what goes with green though. It's just um, silver or black, I guess, would have worked. But yeah, yeah. But yes, yeah, so I was a little disappointed. I can't remember. I gave the Red Bull one. I think I gave it an eight. You gave it Red Bull an eight, yeah. Gave Hassa two. Hassa two, because it looks exactly the same. We're gonna copy paste job. I'm not gonna be harsh. I think it's a seven. Which is still so, high. Okay. It's nice. It is a nice green. But just not for you. Not what you just Maybe expected. a six. Maybe a six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven. That's six point five? <laughs> no, let's go with six. Six? Damn, it's more to come. that is harsh. If it was the last one of the lot, I'd just say I'd say seven. But because I want to see more, I'm gonna say six. Wow. Well, my rating, slightly different to yours. I'm whacking this at 8.5. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's what I wanted to see. Last year disappointed me. This year, it works. Well, I don't get what you see, though. What are you seeing? I just feel like the colour of the green. No, but the light it needs to be darker. Works. It needs to be... I get what you mean, but... Racing green. Or what like... they've done with this... It just looks right. It should have been the colour of the safety car last year. The safety car colour was amazing. 
that's what they should have done. It was amazing. The thing is, it's good, it's good seeing them in these dark little rooms that they showcase them in. Where do you see them on the track? It's a whole different ballgame when you see them on track, but what I see there right now, I like it. That's right up my street. So what we uh, what we thinking for them? Where do we think? Where, where do we see them going? Do you know what? Like I said, I watched the stream. First of all, listen to Lawrence Stroll talk for five minutes. Oh my goodness, he could have sent me to sleep. That man is so monotone. But don't get me wrong, I am shit scared of him. Like he scares the fuck out of me. He's a scary man. He just gives me evil villain vibes. Lawrence Stroll. No, Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence. Yeah, the dad. The dad. Oh, yeah, Lawrence. No, oh, God, no. Like God, no. It's like a puppy dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't scared of him. But I didn't, I didn't see it. Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, like I said, listening to him talk was just a bunch of waffle. Yeah, they're talking about yes, this five-year man. plan they've got. They've got a five-year plan. So whether that five-year plan is to be a contender during that then five years or the fifth year is there let's go for it I'm not sure but when you've got a four-time world champion in your team you think they're going to go for it soon because they're going to be around forever yeah here's my issue right you can't say you've got a five-year plan with something one you've got a driver that isn't going to be around in five years time two regulations change every year how can you have a five-year plan on something regulations change every year it's not like football where like you have a, a team and five years time we're going to be here. Yeah, it's just like I a, get what you mean. You yeah, that's, what, like, that's what threw me with Kevin have... Vettel when you know he isn't going to be there in five years time. He yeah. might not even be in the sport in five years time. So that was a bit of an issue for me. And they've they've got another driver who can't even race. Like, <laughs> and in five years time, what? <laughs> yeah. If anything, I feel like they've he... gone backwards because racing point. Like that was a good car. Don't get me wrong, I know it was the Mercedes prior year car, but they didn't live up it, to the standard. Do you know what? The, the, the Aston Martin strikes me as the Jaguar of the. Do you remember the Jaguar team? Vaguely. They didn't really do anything. Yeah. They just they were there. They just they weren't bottom, but they weren't top. They were just there. And then and then you get back and you think, oh my god, they got better. Or you think, oh my god, yeah. this is, could be the best thing ever, but. But let me throw the question back to you. Where do you think they're going to be this year? I don't think they'll do very well, but I think the car has got the, the capability. I think it's the drivers. I like Vettel, but I, th- I just think he's, he's he needs a better person next to him. And I think Stroll is in the sport for the wrong reasons. Yeah. I don't. A lot of people rate him, but I don't rate him. I think all. if Vettel gets the motivation, I think he can... Get on them podiums. I think if they if they kept Perez and they had Vettel, they'd be a completely different team. Yeah, I agree. Them two together could be a I good unit. That was the way to go, but, but we Stroll's, never, Stroll's never going to go. No, and it's and that's that's not Formula One to me. No, yeah, I get it. He's that's why he's uh, driver. That's why he's Daddy Cash. But yeah, anyway, um, let's not get too deep into the politics. <laughs> That's not this. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've uh, we've given it a solid review there. You've we've gone two different ways of it. You've been a bit more harsh, whereas I've kind of been a bit brown nosed. You, you, brown nose you in invite me here uh, for my opinion. I give you my opinion. Yeah, exactly. That's what so we're here to do tomorrow. McLaren, isn't it? Oh, yeah, exactly, it's the big on. one tomorrow. The one we're waiting for. This I want this to be the ten out of ten. <laughs> it's got to be blue and orange. It's it'll get ten ten. Well, out they've of 10. already confirmed it'll be blue and orange. They've already confirmed that. Have they really? Yeah. Yeah, but baby blue and orange. They haven't confirmed that for. Whereas it's blue and orange. <laughs> if it's that, I'll be wearing a t-shirt all year. If it's baby That's blue, right. if they bring baby blue, we get the t-shirt easily. Easily. They don't tease us with it once, and everyone go mad for it and not bring it back. Yeah, Surely. I agree. If it's not, I'll be really disappointed. But hey, that's for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. We'll discuss that tomorrow. Yeah. But this has been about Aston Martin. It's just going to be... I've liked it. You've been a bit up and down with it. Tomorrow we'll just both be dribbling. Yes. And just like... There's going to be, oh, like, yeah. we're gonna be speechless. 
So good, so good. Yeah. <laughs> like two teenage boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't wait. So we'll leave that there. We'll leave it there before we go on too long. We shall oh. catch you tomorrow with the legals and this has been our review and our thoughts and opinions on Yester Martin. We'll see you tomorrow. Good. Bye. Stop. Oh, yeah. <laughs>